So Grayson, you've had one length irons in your bag for, for quite a while now. Maybe talk us through just the one length concept in general and who can benefit from one length irons. Yeah, so I uh, reinvented these back in 2011 with Mike Shy, and uh, these clubs can benefit literally everybody in the world. The problem is there's you know a bunch of people that have played variable length for their whole lives, so I get that, I understand that, but I truly believe that if you go pick these up and you get the right fitting for you and the right headway, right um, swing weight, all those dynamics, the shaft flex, it can literally benefit everybody. And you can see it in today today's world where there's a lot of guys out there switching to one length and seeing drastic improvements in their ball striking capabilities. I get asked a lot, why do these clubs work better than variable length? And personally, the, the reason is because they're, they're all one length. And when you're setting up to a golf ball, right, I don't have to be you know, at a pitching wedge length, going to a three iron length, or going to diff, you know, seven iron length, or eight iron, or nine iron. I'm setting up in the same body posture no matter what. That's really the reason why I switched to it, because I said I want to be able to make sure I'm in the same posture each and every time I'm hitting every single shot. Um, I get a bunch of people come up to me every tour event going, hey, thanks for, for making those irons. I am hitting incredibly well now because of you. And so it's really quite an honor to be able to say I, I helped move the, the one length uh, idea along in the game of golf. And um, we did, we did. Cobra and uh, Cobra Pumas has, has helped us go to another, another level with this uh, whole idea. So it can benefit everybody and it's uh, gonna keep benefiting everyone, I personally believe. So Brayson, there's a lot of kind of discussion and questions about the difference between one length and one plane. Mm -hmm. So what's the, the distinction there between the two? So they are not related at all, not one bit. I just happen to be swinging on one plane with these one length irons. So in order to go play these clubs, most people think, oh, I gotta swing on one plane. Well, that's not true at all. You can swing it whatever way you want. That's originally how I, how I wanted it to be designed, unfortunately. I'm swinging on one plane, and so it seems like if you swing one length irons, you gotta swing on one plane. That's not true at all. It's as simple as saying you can take whatever swing you want, I mean, Jim Furyk or whoever, right? And swing it whatever way they want with these um, one length clubs. So, Bryson, as golfers get into one length irons, specifically those who have played variable length for a long time, um, what are you seeing as far as distance gapping? Uh, how, how does that shake out? Is there any effect to, to the golfers' distances they're used to hitting their clubs? It is pretty much the exact same as a variable length set in regards to distance gapping. People think that length is the reason why it goes farther. Well, that is true, but if they had the same head weight on all of the clubs, it would consistently keep going way too far mm. with variable length. So they have to, variable length has to exchange the weight of the head for the length of the club. So a three iron head is very, very light compared right. to a seven iron and pitching wedge head. Pitching wedge head is really heavy and it's shorter. So they're trying to exchange the mass and length properties to have it you know, go the right distance anyway. All I've done is taken the seven iron and moved it all, all the way out to a pitching wedge and a three iron. And so loft, loft is really the answer to this distance question. Where four degrees, four degrees of loft accounts for about 12 to 13 yards of distance when swung around 90 miles an hour. Mm. That's a lot of information, but it's four degrees of loft, that change when swung at 90 miles an hour accounts for about 12 to 13 yards in distance change. And that's what they do on, on variable length as well. And so, you know, pitching wedge all the way to forearm, if, if you were to hit both sets, they would fly the exact same distance, given that they were the same mass properties and things like that right. relative to the seven iron. All right, so you think that 13 to 15 yards in between each club is generally where people should be? Yeah, in general, that's what, well, when swung at 90 miles an hour. Sure. When swung at 90 miles an hour, and that's just usually what happens because of the physics of loft. It's the, the loft, the four degrees of loft change is really the reason why it changes distances, shorter or longer. So Bryson, for somebody interested in, in going from a variable length to a one length set, uh, what advice would you have for them to kind of get started and what's the best way to get fitted for them? So I'd say the most important thing is getting fit. You have to get fit with the one lengths, I would say. And in order to do that, you gotta go to Golf Galaxy, nearest Golf Galaxy, and uh, either Dick's Sporting Goods as well, and go get fit and uh, make sure it's right for you.